Hello and welcome people to another part of my um, explanation of roots, logarithms, powers, and differentiation. So in the last video, I spoke about how 10 to the power of 0 0.9 is equal to 7.9. And um, to to describe this um, to describe the power as being a decimal or a fraction, you would get ten to the power point one times ten to the power point one ten ten to the power point one times. You know. And then you would continue this. So then it would go down and I describe it in terms of rows and columns. So 10 to the power point 0.1 in a row of 10 to the power point 0.1 time and in a column and in a column of 10 to the power point 0.1 time. And then you would go in a three three dimensional cubic. Or you could um you could do a series of a series of columns and I describe it as a column like that. In today we're gonna to look at solving roots. Solving roots using differentiation, polynomials as rows and columns, and the equation for differentiate differentiation. So um, what we gather from here is that 10 to the power of 0.9 is equal to the 10th root of 10 to the power of 9 or the 10th root of 1 billion and just to recap referring to like the research that I do on the logarithm 0 0.95 root of 9 is equal to 10 and 10 to the power of 0.95 is equal to 9 so this is 10 to the power of 0.954242 and the 0.954242 root of 9 is equal to 10. And um, using this kind of, using this change of base, so this is a kind of change of base because this is saying that 10 to the power of 0.954242 is 9 and that 9 to the power of 1 9 to the power of 1 over 0 0.954242 is equal to 10. So root is a sort of a change of base. And I use that idea to um, to refer to the 10th root of 10 of 1 billion, which is also equal to 7.9. And I showed the approximation, you I showed the method of approximating roots using um, testing approximations. So you know that, um, so I start with 2 to the power of 30 is 1 billion. So we know that it's, it's more than 2. And then the reason we know it's more than 2 is because, um, so for example, if we do 8, but then we test a to the power of 10 and then we get 1 billion we know that we change the base there because um, a to the power of 10 is equal to 10 to the power of 9 so we change the base using the roots and um, we know that because 10 to the root of 10 to the power of 9 equals 8 we know that a to the power of 10 equals 10 to the power of 9 so the root sort of change the base to eight, you know, and we knew that it was less. We knew that it was more than two because um, we knew that it was more than two because the root was this thirty is more than ten, which is the root, right? So that described the that described the last video. And in this video, 
are just going to do three simple things and make this a short video, right? So I just want to describe, do this in um, the newton raphson method. So this is the differentiation method or the newton raphson method for finding singular roots. So if we have x to the power of 10 is equal to 10 to the power of 9, then x to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 9 equals 0, right? And this is f of x. This is f of x. And then if we take the derivative, f inverse x, we will get 10x9 minus, we will get 10x9 is the derivative. And so the newton raphson method is x into n plus 1, I mean x, the n plus 1 of x is equal to xn minus f of xn over the differential of f, f of xn, x, the n to x, I mean, n to x, the derivative. So when we write the equation, we get equal to x to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 9 over 10 to the power of 10 over 10 the derivative which is 10x9 10x9 and then when we simplify this we get x n plus 1 equal 9xn over 10 plus 10 to the power of 8 10 to the power of 8 over x and to the power of 9 So if, if we start with a guess let me say guess x e xn equal 10, we will get something like 8.2. And then if you keep repeating, if you keep repeating, so you, you go, they converge quickly. So if you, you go 10, you go 9, you go 8, and you should know, the, the test there is to know how to, how to average. The test there is to know how to average. So that was the differentiation method. Now I want to talk a little bit about um, polynomials. So x cubed plus x squared plus 1 equals 0. This is a polynomial, right? Um, I'm going to describe, the, this, describe polynomials in rows and columns. So x cubed is x times x times x. And this is a cubic, this is a, so this is x plus x plus x dot 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 x times. And then, this, so this is, this is the, we'll go first power, this is log equal one. Then over here is log equal two. And then x plus x plus x, x plus x plus x, x times again, and this is log equal 3. So this is times x, this is times x, xn, well not xn, so this is x again. So this is x to the power of 1, this is x to the power of 2, and this is x, this is x to the power of 3. This result here is x to the power of 3. And I use this method to describe <coughs> everything. So I might, I might not go into this video, into, into the, the equation for the differential, but I might just test it out. 
and then the next one is simple x plus x plus x plus x um, x cube I mean is x squared this is x1 and this is x plus it, x n x time x n time and this is right so x n x times so x n will be x times and um, it's not plus one I think it's plus x plus one so that is how I want to describe rows and columns and there are some um, nuances I will describe I will go into more detail in future videos but some nuances I want to describe is one like 3 cubed so let, let us say so a cube let, let us go with each number so square cube and to the power of 4 <coughs> Two x cubed. Then we want to go with three x four x cubed, four x cubed, and then we will go with three no four x cubed, three x squared, and two x. And this is a series. <coughs> this is a series so if we let us say 3x is 3 here 3x squared is equal to 3 squared 3 cubed when x is 3 so x equal 3 x 3x three squared is equal to, to to 3 cubed or x cubed x equal 4, 4x four cubed is equal to 4 to the power of 4, which is equal to x to the power of 4. So you can look at, um, this is just a way I was using to relate, uh, to give an idea of um, differentiation and to give a better idea of the, the arithmetic involved in differentiation. So essentially, what I was saying was that if we if we use the so I'm just going to talk about the final thing with the topic the, the equation the differentiation let's go back to the same thing x plus x plus x dot 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 x n times x plus x plus x x n times no x n times dot 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 x plus x plus x and this is x to the 1, this is x squared, and this is x cubed. If we use this method, right? If we use this method, then essentially what we are saying here is that the summation is the same. So the summation of x times x. So let me see, the summation of x, x cubed is x times x squared. And um, x summation of x times itself x squared times. So x cubed is the summation of x, x squared times. Right? And, um, So right. So if we wanted to use a summation like this, we would say that for the differential for this is how to conceptualize the differential. We we know that the differential is three x squared, right? So the the differential is three x squared. So what that means is three x squared. What that means is that, let me say x, let, let us say x is more than 3, then it will have a next column here, x plus x plus x. 
plus x, it will have more. So it will have an x column here. But when we, when we, that's, this is the x cube. But if we, when we, but what the derivative is doing, the derivative is stopping at this, at the row. So the derivative, the derivative is stopping at the row. But the derivative is also multiplying by three. So that is where I was saying, if x cubed, the derivative is three x squared, then, then when x is three, then they are equal. Equal three. So yeah, and so essentially that's what is that is how I describe it. That is my method of describing differentiation. And um, essentially, it says that x plus x plus x x n times. So is x squared, and then you using the power and you are stopping at the third row the third row of the column right so x cube for x cube you are Right. So if it's x cubed, for x cubed, the derivative is 3x squared. And um, so let me use if it was 4, for example. If it was 4, it would have a fourth column here. And it would have a fourth x here. Right. So this is the 4. And then the derivative is 3x squared. So it would go 4 squared which is 4 by 4, so 4 plus 4, 4 times, and then you are stopping at 3 times. You are stopping at 3 times, so it's not yet, it is not quite x to the power of 4. It is not quite 4 to the power of 4, because if it was 4 to the power of 4, then it would, it would stop at a next well actually no it is definitely not quite 4 to the power of 4 so you have two ways to look at this you have 4 when x is 4 that it would have a fourth column here because the next u will be x plus x plus x plus x and this whole, this whole row again, and again, and then again, four times. And then four times four to the power of four would be that whole thing times four. That whole bracket, this whole bracket times four. But the point I'm trying to so that but the point I'm trying to make here is that when it's four, it what it is doing is that it goes to the x it goes to the four squared, and then it stops at the third col the third row, the third row, so not the full column, and I don't know why, but um, that is the the, the mathematical, the, this is more of an explanation of what differentiation is doing. And um, if we use this, if we use this method for sigma, then we can use all of the previous methods to solve roots using the, the Raphson method, which I quite honestly do, can't really remember or don't know fully, but um, we could use this method to solve the yeah, derivative differentiation, which is rates of change. 
So we see that the rate of change would stop at the third row to x cubed. The third row of x squared, and that would be the rate of change of x cubed. Okay, thank you, and um, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in future, in the future.